distribution is, uh, it's a necessary evil. Um, we have, in California, it's three tier. So you've got your, 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 uh, your manufacturer, your wholesaler, and your retailer. Branding is a huge part of distribution. Unfortunately, it takes more than an excellent brew to get people to buy it. Now you're going to hear from our experts on the topic of distribution. Then, once you have distribution, it's time to package your beer. We're right on the cusp of beginning a formal distribution agreement. Um, currently, we are self-distributing uh, at this point, but the majority of our business is going through the tasting room right now. Uh, we want the, the whole, we're doing probably, we're doing a significant percentage through here. We are a production brewery, not a brew pub, so the majority should be going off-site. And with distribution, we will be flipping that percentage. Mm -hmm. And it extends our range. There's just no way we'd be able to have the range uh, uh, with our beer that we can with distribution. Because the distributor we're going with will be able to get our beer down to like San Diego and stuff. And we just wouldn't be able to do that with our, our current uh, person leading distribution. Almost all the locations we're at are located in the San Fernando Valley down to Glendale. And then I think the farthest out we are is to Chatsworth. Distribution is, uh, it's a necessary evil. Um, we have, in California, it's three tier. So you've got your, 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 uh, your manufacturer, your wholesaler, and your retailer. So we can make our beer here, we can package it, we can jump in our truck, and we can self-distribute. In California, these states are different. Um, then there's the distributor. Um, Harbor, Stone, Ace, those are our distributors around here. And they're, um, they're awesome because they're your logistics company as well as your, your, your brand rep. So we brew, we package, and then we sell our beer to our distributor. And then we're paid. We, our beer is now sold and then they take our brand in their portfolio and they, they put the placements in the, uh, in the retail accounts, they get their markup on it and then they get paid. So it's a nice, uh, it works good for us. As far as how we find distribution, they come to us, we reach out to them and it's just a matter of interviewing with each distributor and finding the, the best fit for what your visions are and what their portfolio is and if it's a match or not. Uh, packaging beer, we have, um, we have a lot of choices. We can keg it, we can can it, we can bottle it. And getting the bubbles in, we have choices too. So, um, uh, Sierra Nevada, for example, they take beer that's fully fermented and they infuse a stream of still fermenting beer and they package it and that beer that's still fermenting, ferments, ferments in the bottle. It does a, a secondary fermentation in the bottle and you get your bubbles. 